This is Jada Dreyer, and you're watching countrymusicrocks.net. Okay, so we're sitting down with Jada Dreyer here at CRS 2014. How is things going so far? How's your CRS week going? Great, it's just kicking off for me, and I'm happy to be here. Okay, for fans that haven't got to know you yet, give us a quick little Jada Dreyer 101. Man, um, I moved to Nashville seven years ago to write songs and uh, got a record deal, put a record out last year. Um, and most recently, I have uh, three songs in the ABC series Nashville. Hey. <laughs> now, obviously, you're a very talented songwriter. What's, what's it been like having your songs showcased on Nashville? It's been an honor. Um, ABC and, and the show itself, they've really done a great job of um, trying to find great songs and, and real songs and I'm very thankful that they've taken quite the liking to me and, and every song that I've had placed in that show is something that I, I wish that I would have been able to record so I'm uh, pretty pretty happy about that. Very cool. Now tell us what's been one of your favorite storylines on the hit series? Storylines. You know what I kind of like that uh, Scarlett is uh, getting a little little off kilter <laughs> right now. I, I kind of dig that. <laughs> Very cool. Now I know you're in the process of working on some new music. Tell us a little bit about that. Um, I'm going to be going back in sometime pretty soon here with my producer Byron, Gal Byron Gallimore uh, to cut some new stuff for my second record and uh, it's going to be a little more authentic, a little more um, me per se. Uh, it's going to be a little more rootsy and I'm really excited about that. Sounds exciting. Now, if there was one thing that you could convey to fans about you and your music, what would it be? Um, just that it's real. I've uh, lived an interesting life, and, and that's given me a lot to write about, and I, I try to let that come across in, in my songs. Okay. Now, you've already had so many great moments in your career so far. If you could go back and relive one, just one moment, what would it be? Uh, playing the Grand Ole Opry at the Ryman for the first time. I could do that every day. <laughs> <laughs> Um, now, with 2014 already underway, what are some of your goals and plans and things that you're really looking forward to this year? Um, uh, recording new music, for sure. That's going to be exciting. Um, I'm also going to L.A. here at the end of the month for some acting stuff I've got going on, so I'm excited about that. Um, and playing a bunch of shows. I've got a bunch of shows over the summer, big festivals and stuff like that. Okay. Now, country music is consistently evolving. It's growing. What is it that you love most about this genre? Um... You know, I, everything does evolve and everything does change, but I think to move forward, I think we need to know that where we come from. And I, I like the, the story aspect of, of country music. Um, I still feel like great story songs still come through, like I Drive Your Truck and, and things like that. And uh, that's always what's drawn me to country music, and I think it'll always stay that way. And then finally, we're here at CRS Week. It's all about country radio. Yeah. What's one song that when it comes on the radio, you just have to crank it up? Right now that's out? Just any song in general. Like, when you oh, um, Better Dig 2, Bam Perry. <laughs> Very cool. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to chat with us. We're thank excited you. about your new music, and enjoy the rest of your CRS Week. Thank you. Thank you. Half-broke horses, they never come back home.